Do you want to add 100 horsepower to your car for under 50 bucks? Well stay tuned because in this episode we're painting the calipers red. Wait, I'm JP and here I do car reviews, car mods install, mod reviews, and pretty much anything in between. So if you like that kind of content, consider subscribing and joining the community. This is Driving Production. Welcome back to another episode of Driving Production. All jokes aside, we're not going to be adding any more power to the Mazda 3 in this episode, but I think we're going to be adding quite a bit of style to it, and by doing so we're going to be painting the brake calipers. So let's get right into it and start painting. First thing, I have to lift up the car on jack stands and remove all four wheels. Alright, so with the wheels off, I can now take apart the uh, brake caliper. Uh, so first off, I just got to remove the uh, front clip. And then after that, there's a 7 millimeter or 7 Allen key that holds these sliders to split the caliper uh, from the bracket. And then what's holding it in the back is a 17 millimeter bolt that's uh, held on to the knuckle. Now I'm covering the knuckle with a garbage bag to prevent overspray. Like the front, I'm taking apart the rear brakes and covering them. Here I'm scuffing the calipers and brackets and cleaning them thoroughly with alcohol. After that, I'm taping off any areas I don't want paint to go on. Then, I'm applying some adhesion promoter to help the paint stick to the brakes. So before I started this project, I knew I wanted to upgrade the rear brakes to the Mazda 5 ones. So I got these in a junkyard for cheap, only thing they were really rusted. I first tried to leave them for about a week in white vinegar. After that time, I still wanted some rust removed. So I let them sit for 24 hours this time in some crud cutter. And right away, you can see the reaction starting. After a week, the brackets looked almost new and were now ready to be painted like the rest. So the color I chose to paint my brake calipers is red. I used some metal cast uh, paint and I think the color just comes out really nicely, almost that candy-like. Uh, color. I've used it for my uh, front and rear sway bars if you've watched that video uh, on the Mazda 3. I also painted the brake calipers the same color on my BMW. So a question for you guys, what do you guys think is the best color to paint your brake calipers? Let me know in the comments below. With that said, I start by spraying two metal casts, base coats, waiting 10 to 15 minutes in between each. Once that's dry, I can finally start applying the first of two red coats. To make sure the paint stays protected and keeps that nice shine, I'm also adding two gloss clear coats. While doing this, I also painted the caliper clips gloss black so they'd contrast nicely with the red. It's the same paint I used to paint the front grille in the fog light episode. With everything painted, I can just leave it overnight so it's ready to install the following day. But unfortunately, the weather wasn't cooperating the next morning, so I had to wait until the next day. 
All right, guys, so I'm really excited. Uh, the calipers are all painted. Everything is looking really nice. Uh, so all that's left is to reinstall everything, put everything back together. One thing that's important if you're gonna uh, be doing it this way to paint your calipers, uh, when you do remove the uh, brake bracket, before you put them back on, it's important that you grease them up so that the uh, brake pad can slide freely and to clean up these uh, little slider uh, pins and to make sure to grease them before you reinstall them. So let's go reinstall everything on the car and see how it looks. Since I didn't remove the OEM rear brackets and rotors initially, I removed them by taking out the two bolts holding them. Here's a quick comparison. You can see how the brackets are a little bit taller than the stock ones and how the rotors are a bit bigger. Before installing the new rotors on the car, I'm cleaning them with alcohol. Then I'm greasing up the hub so the rotors doesn't seize over time. From here on out, it's just a matter of reinstalling everything back together in the back like in the front. And now I can take a few moments to enjoy the final product. So everything is put back on the car and I gotta say, I'm really excited on how things turned out. I think it looks really nice. Especially with the combination of the red taillights, I think it contrasts nicely with the car. I really hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like the one you saw today, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the community. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.